Oh my word. I hope you all managed to find me. <laughs> this is surreal, absolutely surreal. Oh, I have somebody. <laughs> oh, that thing's... Hi, Tricia. Morning! It's finally here. Oh, and breeze. I wonder if I drank my cup of tea. I must have finished my cup of tea. So excited to show you everything that I've made and I am so pleased that you're loving it. It means, oh, it means the world. It really does. I won't say too much before you all come on because then I won't repeat myself. Oh, thank you for coming back. I mean, oh, morning. I don't know how to, there's something on my screen and I can't get it out of the way and it's in the way of the um, comments. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Just while you're all joining, I'm just going to bring it up on my iPad as well, just so that I can see the comments too. She says. Duh, 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 duh. Sorry about this. Oh, hit that button. It won't be as easy as that, will it? Um, Julie. Oh, that's cool. You're all finding your way back. Brilliant. Thank you so much for joining me. And thank you for all these amazing comments. Um, I honestly am blown away. I can't even put it into words. The fact that you all love it just makes my heart sing. I feel butterfly-y inside my tummy. And the stockists too, so many stockists have... It, it's humbling, it's lovely to see that you all love the collection as much as I do. Um, and Julie, honestly, it's amazing. And of course, I couldn't do it without Julie. So, my partner in crime, yay. Um... I still can't see the comments and I can't get it up on there because I'm just too flittery. <laughs> so I'm just going to go with it. I will have a look at the comments afterwards um, and do some comments. All I know is lots of orders are coming through. Just know that they're being packed as we speak. Paul's at the shop. I'm here. And yes, I'm excited. Right. I am going to turn it around. I'm going to get that out of the way. I'm going to flip this camera. And I'm going to, ooh, samples. I'm going to get this. I know Julia's just showed you this, but I have got, now why is that blurry? There we go. This is how it all looks. And I know that we've all just gone through all of that. So I'm going to show you in close detail how they stamp out because I just think they look amazing. Um, I am super, super proud because I did hand draw them and I got a new um, gadget off my husband. And I can tell you with my OCD, these are 100% totally symmetrical. So yeah, really excited. So this, look at the detail on that dragonfly. So you've got those real nice sketchy edges. Um, and I left this open for a reason because you can absolutely, I'm just going to see if I can find a pen and I'm going to do it. You absolutely can, if you like doodling, these look amazing. If you just add in, you don't have to be an artist to do this, but just that scribbly, some big ones, some little ones. And how amazing does that look? It just looks part of the design. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I was actually going to have the stamp like this. But then I thought, no, I want to keep it versatile and open it up so it appeals to everybody so that they can put their spin on it. Um, so you've got your large dragonfly with your medium dragonfly and your small one. 
but you're not losing that scribble detail, which is amazing. And then just look at that. How fabulous does that look? So you've got that dictionary definition, but with that lovely distress look in that background too. And I love this. Thanks to Steph for putting this. Honestly, she got exactly what I... She got the memo. Let's just put it that way. It just is... I couldn't have done it any perfect. It, it's just beautiful. And it all kind of matches the theme. So that is the dragonfly. And I know what Julie's saying about this butterfly being her favourite. I just love the sketchy scribbled kind I mean I call it scribble but that's that's just me I love the sketchy look of this there's so much you can do with it and I think if I had to put into words what this collection is it's kind of I've said it to my ladies in the workshop it's kind of the glue that holds everything together I think because it's so versatile the tile it is going to work with everything you've got on your craft desk at home especially the circles and the squares and you're right about it being working for mail because that was kind of what I wanted I wanted versatility how amazing does this look look at that detail love it so that is your butterfly set so of course all of these are available separately. They're $8.99 for the stamp sets. They're $7.99 for the stencils. But as a collection, yeah, it's available as a collection. And I know that you will just want it all when you see the samples and how it all pulls together. Now, this one it makes my heart sing, honestly. So we've got that jumbled text. We've got uppercase. We've got lowercase. We've got distress. There is a hidden word in here. So I'm going to go over slow and see if you can spot it. OK, it is on the screen now. Can you spot it? I will point it out to you because otherwise you'll sit there going mad. Um, we've got D, R, A, G, O, N. It had to be done. There had to be a dragon in there somewhere. Um, I love it. It makes me smile every time I look at it. So I'm just going to come up a little bit more so that you can see the whole. Uh, but again, stamping this out in different colours, stamping it and spritzing it and getting that beautiful bleed just looks amazing. So that's the letter medley. Now, I can honestly say that the whole collection was born from this scribble, this I know I say scribble, but from this stamp, the whole collection was born. And I just wanted something that could be extended and work with everything I've got in my collection and more. These look amazing if you join them together. I absolutely would highly recommend making yourself a mask. Just imagine masking that out, joining it, how big you could go and what an amazing background it would make. So definitely, this is on to mask it. Um, and another thing, I keep the backing on mine because it's in my stamping press and I just put the magnet on there, which keeps it in place. So it lasts a lot longer. Obviously, there are some things that you need to peel it off, but... Um, they last a long time. So in here, I've got masks of my butterflies, my dragonflies, my squares, my circles, and it's all kept in there beautifully. We'll come back to that in a minute. I just got excited looking at the circles. Um, so yes, Julie was absolutely right. With these separate ones, I put these in so that you could build and extend this or use them separately maybe you don't want this whole bit be creative and make your own pattern up it could be like um you could be making caterpillars it could be anything you want could be a little children's card stamping these down and putting a little smiley face in there and hey presto you've got a little card for um a youngster but these little words, you're going to notice the same font as what I've used on all of my previous collections. So that it will mould together and, and just work. These work brilliantly inside some of the circles. 
also inside some of the squares too. Um, this one here is like the same size as here, so you can decoupage up and get some really different effects. So these will work on their own, of course they will, but when you couple them up with the letter medley and Hazel's butterfly and Hazel's dragonfly, you are gonna have so much fun. So I'm gonna show you the first card that I made. Really, really multicolored. Um, so I've got that long one, which I cut out, but then I extended in the background. Um, I'm just remembered, I didn't show you the stencils, but I know Julie did, so we will come back to that. Um, so extending, using the stencils in the background, inside the circles, we've got the dictionary definitions, that lovely dragonfly in the colours just works so well. And on this one, I just chose to pop the little dragonflies on there. We've got that lovely splat behind there in a colour. So it, this kind of just gives you an idea how it all works together. So that was the first card. Can't remember what I made next. Ah, I do. And then I made this one. So this one is an eight by eight card, so quite large. We've got that square in the background there, but we've also, again, got them stencils. I've mixed in the circles because they do mix and match beautifully. And if I pull this up, we've got that beautiful medium-sized butterfly. We've got dimension on there. I did a slightly different technique with this one. I stamped it out with colour and spritzed and bled it. But then I wanted to put a little bit more of me in it, so I scribbled over the top with my fine liner pen, just to give another look for you. Re oh, brilliant. Yes, I have got an online class and I will show you the online class samples once I've showed you the other samples and it is live on the website now. Um, it's £10, but we'll go through that at the end. So that is card number two. Now, mine aren't in any order, so I've just kind of made and tried to do lots of different techniques. So this one made me happy because um, the butterfly absolutely clips into each other. And if you use a stamping platform and set your butterfly in it, you can move your card down by one centimetre each time and it will make this amazing background for you. And then I've just raised one up in the middle there using the butterflies in the background we've got some circles we've got the inspire lots and lots of different and they've got the stencils just everything works so well together so that's that one. Oh, i don't know which one to pick up next so this is if you like pink you will love this card <laughs> um obviously you can do it in multicolors or use your favorite color but lots of different techniques using the stencil, using the mask and the stamp. It all just works together brilliantly. Cutting into those squares, making them as additional little pieces to sort of like frame your work. So that's another one. Oh, you see now I love this one. Oh, well, I love them all. But every time I look at them, I get that the little butterflies and that silly little feeling. <laughs> So the dragonfly here is done on acetate and I've heat embossed it in black on the front. And then on the back, I covered it and I've heat embossed it with that beautiful sparkly glitter. Look at that. And then we've got a heat embossing. We've also got a stamping in black. I've got the dragonfly dictionary definition on there everything now this is the happy birthday from my more from the boys stamp set so again because it's all the same font it's all going to work in brilliantly so that's that one let's have another dragonfly now this one this one shows how you can use your stencils um so i've got the stars here made that background um, and I've stamped my dragonfly down and I have cut it out. But by laying this stencil over and 
then the stars, it allows you to put those patterns in. And this is why we've left this open space, because it can be so much more. Um, so we've got some of the smaller and the medium, but just looking at the detail in that background. Beautiful. And then let's go something a bit more simple. So a bit more clean and simple on this one. It looks a bit dark in this light, actually. Um, but this one's done with alcohol pens. I have used the mask as well. We've got the, the stencils in the background, but a bit more white space, just simple. And the happy birthday is from Kaz's, oh, I hope I get it right. I think it's from the little birdie set. I could be wrong. Um, and I really like that so much that I thought I would do one the same, but with the butterfly. Uh, getting a real deep colour in there with my alcohol markers. So there's a little matching pair. Um, let's go a little bit larger. So this one. This one is an 8 by 8 one as well. Now you'll notice in the background, I've got like all bits of butterflies. So it was kind of a scrap piece of card, but then I looked at it and thought, I'm absolutely going to be using that. Um We've got this beautiful butterfly on the front. Now, there's no stamping on there. Uh, no, I haven't stamped the butterfly on there, but I've used the mask that comes in with the stencil to do a real funky little technique. And can you see all of the little watermarks on there? I will show you that over one of the lives because you'll have so much fun with it. This demonstrates so well the squares and how it can just be a card, mixing it in with some of my other... Um, stamps from my more for the boys or more for the girls showing how you can piece little bits and pieces in the squares adding different bits of color in there um you're gonna have so much fun honestly now what can we show oh i'll just show you this i haven't even this one onto a card look but this is onto craft card heating embossed into i don't know if you heard that but it, i just had a call coming in um white pencil in there how effective does that look? Now, what am I going to show you? I'm going to show you this one. Again, another big one. Heat embossed. We've got those beautiful squares in there. We've got that letter medley. Now, can you see how I've extended that out to be a square? Very easy to do in your stamping platform. We've got heat embossing through that beautiful meshy stencil. We've got the Happy from Julie's last collection. I love these. I love the size. They're going to work brilliantly along this collect alongside this collection. We've got the little words in there. Just a really nice effect. And then, I'm running out. No, I'm not running out yet. I've still got a lot to show you. So this one, this is where I stamped the letter medley and spritzed it. So I stamped it in the salty ocean. Spritzed it let it do its thing and then put it back in platform and re-stamped it with the black. That gives you that gorgeous background. And then those butterflies. Simple but effective. You'll notice I've not really put a lot of any sentiments on these. I thought if I get to send them or when I get to send them to people, I would add a sentiment at a later date. Now this. This was actually the second card I made. I fell in love with it. It just flows. All of the little different elements working in harmony together. It just makes me happy. I know I have a little bit of an OCD with straight and this card demonstrates it. But dragonflies and butterflies can go on the wonk. <laughs> but not upside down for me, personally. <laughs> uh, love the dimension on this one. It's beautiful feels really weird saying that my cards are beautiful, but I am really proud of them. Um, right then, this one. This is different. This is so different. This is a couple of the circle ones joined together. And I've used charcoal and HB pencil. A hint of the little dragonflies in there. This absolutely would be a fantastic mail card. And it would look amazing in colour as well. 
I've yet to get round and do the square version of this, but as you can imagine, the ideas kept bombarding into my head and I couldn't get them out on paper quick enough. So this one has got a bit of sparkle on it because I have sprayed diamond pearl on there. Not picking it up in this light. Um, here's a smaller version of the square one. This is a six by six. Um, done slightly differently. I have over stamped in the black stamp rather than scribbling on it. But just, oh, it just works so well. Right. So. With the stencils, this just shows you the different effects. If you use a stencil inking through, if you use the mask inking around. So that's how I created the background on this one. Just inking around and that gave me my white or lighter butterflies. <coughs> right, so that was that one. I'm going to move this out of the way and I'm going to bring in... Just scoot it out of the way. Now this one, this week in workshops, we've been making pinwheel cards. And as we were making it, I just thought, oh, do you know what? That would look lovely with my new collection. So I picked myself a little colour palette, um, which was Salvage Patina, Uncharted Marina, and Peacock Feathers, and Salty Ocean. And I started and making like a, um, a blend to put my little medley on. And that's what is the backside of each one. And I mimicked that around. And then I started to look at each set and start and build little kind of compositions. So we've got the dragonfly on there, but we've also got the squares and the circles and the medley in the background. We've also got the stencils and then moving round. I've bought in the butterfly, just using half of it and all of them different elements. And then we've got that circle with some of those smaller dragonflies. And then I've got a confession. I didn't finish it. <laughs> I've got a blank page. I will get round to doing it, but this could be the page that you write on. So maybe I might just add a little bit of ink a few little accents and then it could be written to whoever you're sending it to. Um, but yeah, just another way to use it. It's going to look fabulous with all of your construction cards. So now I want to share with you the workshop cards. I'm going to come up a little bit. And I wanted to, I can honestly say to you, I've used everything in the whole collection on these two cards. From the dragonflies, to the butterflies, to the circles, to the squares, to the letter medley, to the stencils. It's all here. So if you've already bought the collection and you want inspiration and you want me to walk you through so that you can create these two cards, there is an online workshop available. It's all pre-recorded. It's ready to go. As soon as you hit buy, you'll get invited into the private workshop, um, the private Facebook group, and then the videos, they're saved at the top of the page under featured. I want to show you the detail in this card. I had so much fun. In fact, I'm going to bring that down so I can see. We've got heat embossing on there. We've extended it out. We've got everything going on. And of course, it wouldn't be me Oh, wrong one. Hang on. That was my first one. It wouldn't be me without a flash of the outside in. Just using a few of them elements. So that is card one. Well, it's not actually. On the video, it's card two. Uh, this is card one. Love this colour palette. It's saltwater taffy and salvage patina with some versifying clairs as well. I've done the same. Da -da -da -da. Um, so this one here, we've got dimension, we've got detail, we've got all of those elements working together and we've got a bit inside. So if you like the look of those two cards and you want to make them with me holding your hand, showing you all of the different hints and techniques and tips, then um, the online workshop is for you and it is i'm just going to spin you it's available Whee. get you a bit further away 
um, on the website now. So, I actually feel a little bit overwhelmed, I have to say. Um, the response has been amazing. You are all amazing. Julie's amazing. The design team are amazing. And the stockists are all amazing. Have fun with it. Um, I hope, well, I hope you do. I hope you like what we've put together. Um, I know you're definitely going to have fun. And if you've already placed your order, I hope it gets to you soon. I know that Paul's already packing and getting stuff ready. And I'm sure the other stockists are too. They've probably got it all lined up. So wherever you get it from, enjoy it. And thank you so much. I've already got all ideas in my head for their next collection. And it's going to work alongside this one. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to divulge anymore. And I'm not going to tease you because that hurts me teasing you. Um, it also makes me laugh. But, yeah. I'm going to breathe now. I will be back at four o'clock and we will be making a card. <laughs> I'm also going to show you some little techniques as well. So tune in at four if you can. And if you can't um, catch up, I'm just going to have a little flick through. I mean, I'm sorry if I haven't answered any questions. I will have a look through now, but I just really want to thank you all for joining both Julie and myself. And yeah, thank you so much. Take care. Have a lovely day. See you at four. Bye.